Hello, hello, welcome back sa aking YouTube channel mga kapatid. Guys, how are you today? So today our topic, this is the continuation of the last videos that I I already uploaded in our in my YouTube channel. So today we cover our discussions related what is the environment if you are now in the offshore? What is the accommodation, how you how you work, and what is their food, and etc. So the environment and how you can stay while you are working in offshore. Okay, so I will share with you right now. Okay, so by the way, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are newly in my YouTube channel. So here we go, offshore environment. So this is our offshore environment. So we, you are now in the remote nature, remote area. So you are stranded on a still island, far from everything, okay? Remember that. When you first arrive, you may know nobody on the installation. There is no endless water around you, you may feel lonely, homesick, kung ano nung mga ginagawa. So, maninibago. You are a stranger. Okay? You cannot go anywhere. It's not much different from being in the jail. So, yun nga, sabi nila, pag nasa offshore daw, parang nasa kulungan. Okay? So, you may have very limited and expensive contact with family and friends. So, hindi ka makagalagala at sometimes yung mga network pa natin sa telecommunication, lang yung nagpipail, talagang mahirap makapag-communicate sa ating pamilya, sa ating mga kaibigan, mga kamag-anak, etc. But if someone emergency develops at home, you may be stranded for some time on the installation before you can go home. Kasi kailangan natin yan, schedule mo, ta-travel ka by chopper or by boat, Depende yan sa location mo. Medyo malayo talaga. Okay? Kapag mag-helicopter, mag-chopper, so it takes uh, 30 minutes, ganon. So it is not a bad, it sounds, whatever you may need, basic to intermediate essential is available on the installation. It is neither provided by employer or available from a small store or shop. So for my experiences, there is a jack up bars. We have a we have small store that you are that you need whatever you need. You can buy a beverage, you can buy cola, chocolate, and some other things that personal use. And of course, there is a restaurant, uh, not restaurant. There is a cafeteria, and also it miss whole what we can what we can say uh, dining. So, however, remote, remoteness is reality. You cannot go for a walk down the street. You cannot go to a local bar, pub, for a beer. You don't see any people except your work colleagues. Minsan nagsasawa ka na sa mukha nila. Okay? You see no animals except birds. So, may kita mo lang mga seagulls. Yung nagliliparan ng mga nagtapos, nagstay sa dagat, tapos lipad naman, pakunta ng mga platforms, mga jackets. It's like being at work permanent, which is not the duration of your rotation. So basically naman yung rotation na nasa offshore ka, which is 42 days, 28, 28, every three months, every two months, vacation one month. So it depends on your package, it depends on the company, it depends on the contractor. So it's all depends of the company. Okay? So if you are a very social per person, some other persons, it not, it's difficult to stay in the remote area, especially offshore. So, may, baka bigla kang tumalon. Bindyan, nalito ka na, bindyo, nal, kuhan ka na, ha, homesick ka na, languin ko na, uwi na ako sa Pilipinas. Yan ang delikado. So, kailangan, we need to ready mentally and physically fit. Kaya mayroon tayong mga training. We, da, we, we need to do the Training. This is what we are discussing in the in the 
two videos that I uploaded. So we need to set our mindset. Okay, be ready physically and mentally ready. Hindi ka basta-basta na pupunta ng offshore pa hindi ka ready. Kaya mayroon tayong medical examination at hindi lang basta-basta medical. Kung kunan ka ng dugo, lahat yan. Airing, uh, airs, eyes, lahat dugo mo, yung weight mo, lahat yan titesting. At dito, dadaan ka rin dito sa training. Okay, at the end, you how will be handled to remote. You condition yourself positive, engaging about, you will find the remoteness is really, it's not really a problem. So for me, I've been experiences for an offshore work activities. Sometimes I stay three months. That's okay. Uh, based on my experience, way back in Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and here in UAE. Harsh condition, of course, this harsh condition. Living conditions are modern and quite good. Weather conditions depend on where you will be working, either in Asia, uh, America, Western, Western uh, area. So it depends on the how you work and location. It's uh, merong iba talaga sobrang lamig, merong iba na mainit, you know. In the North Sea, Arctic, Antarctic, you can expect a feeling weather conditions most of the time. Strong wind, high waves, very open, extremely cold. So, yan yung pinagkaiba sa mga iba-ibang location. Kaya kailangan, kung nasa ibang location ka, kagaya, let's, especially, especially you, we are Asian, so kagaya ko, Pilipino, so medyo, it's uh, difficult to stay in that place. North Sea, Antarctic, di ba? So, from Middle East lang. In many parts of the world, locations of offshore installation can assure dominantly mild and favorable weather. In the Middle East, oh yeah, nandiyan tayo. Middle East tayo ngayon. Oh, so, nandito ako sa Middle East. So, Vietnam also is good because we are from Asia and other locations. The weather may be mostly extremely hot, very humid. Humid nga lang. Talagang mahirap maglagad. Pag lumabas nga ako sa platform from accommodation, jack up, jack up yung accommodation namin, nalabas ka lang, pupunta ka ng, ng ibang platforms. Nako, pag humid, siguradong bagsak na yung pawis mo sa buong katawan. So you need to change your clothes in one day, four times, three times, overall, cover all. So the weather in which you work is depending on your specific job and the location of the installation in which you will work usually not ideal. If you're lucky and work offshore in locations such as Nigeria or Angola, it will feel like a nice and tropical island. So it depends on the work as well. If you are the re if you are rigger, technicians, uh, quality, construction, if you are in the operations and maintenance, it depends on the work, how we proceed, okay? So remember that man in the tropical, we can survive without artificial aids, aids or in the tropics. Now you have chosen to work outside tropics that is not ideal environment for the human. So usually, ganun naman tayo. So, meron tayong mga heater, uh, it's clothes, insulation heat, heater, shelter, weather. So, kumpleto tayo. Meron tayong mga jacket. Lahat yan binibigay ng company. Okay? Full support yan. Imagine working with a steel pipe on a steel environment, 20 degrees centigrade, or working at night, the open air, temperature. So, basically, yung, yung based on my experience, Pag matapos na yung trabaho, let's say alas, alas 4, wala ka nang ginagawa, alas 5, depende yan sa work. Ha? I'm not talking about uh, all if you are in the offshore. Because in a way, when you are in the offshore, it's different, different work, different, different activities, and different schedules. Night shift, morning shift, okay, depende yan. So, ngayon, ang ginagawa ko, pupunta ko sa helidip, jogging ako doon, walking, walking, jogging. Meron din tayong gym, pupunta ka ng gym, mag-exercise ka doon. So it depends on you, okay? So how you uh, do and make a usual while you are staying in the offshore platforms. So offshore, offshore accommodation, fairly space, cost monthly, everything is small, very small. So magkasya lang yan. Kayong dalawa, minsan apat, depende yan sa accommodation. Meron tayong staff na mga accommodation, meron din tayong labor accommodation. 
So you may have to share room three by five meters with three people, okay? Your bed is narrow and you cannot roll over your other side. So your locker only 300 mm wide, you need to hang some of your clothes outside your locker. Yan, imagine mo lang, just to imagine you are in the offshore right now, okay? Your privacy that you have is, is only shower, toilet. So mahirap humilik, snoring, so, makadisturbo ka sa mga ka, kasa, mas, nadisturbo mo yung kasamahan mo. So, mahirap talaga. You need to adjust. Yung namang mga hindi nag-snore, nag hindi naghilig, adjust ka lang din. Okay? Masyadong maingay sa telepon, doon ka sa labas. Huwag kang magingay sa kwarto kasi maraming mga natutulog din, makadisturbo ka rin sa kabilang room. Okay? So, you cannot work on your laptop on top to your mobile without disturbing or inconvenience someone else. Yan ang sinasabi ko. Kaya yung iba kasi, minsan din mga kasamahan natin, uh, iba yung either Pilipino or ibang lahi, minsan talaga nakaka-disturb. Yung mga galaw, yung ingay. So, hindi mawala talaga. But you need to tell. Just adjust. Okay? Example of your room accommodation. This is a room accommodation. Yan. Ito ang mga room natin. Ganyan siya. Tapos yan dyan, pang-apat din yan. Yan, pangapatan. Yan, dalawahan. Tapos sisilip ka dyan sa labas. Magkikita mo na dyan sa labas. Yan ang plat platforms. Tapos nandyan yung mga kwarto-kwarto. Kung magkikita mo dyan, pansinin mo dyan. O, yan yung jack up niya. Tapos meron ding sariling accommodation. Meron tayong accommodation platform din. Yung recently, yun yung na-complete namin sa offshore platform accommodations. We have applied five platforms that we completed last year. Uh, this year, uh, last year, completed namin yung buong platforms. Lima yun. Okay? So, this is the continuation, guys. So, marami pa tayong pag-usapan. We have uh, too many videos, uh, presentations that I will be uploaded here. So, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you will be notified in my next video uploaded. Okay, thank you very much and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye. See you. Stay smart. Be smart.